Hi, first grade. Happy Thursday, and welcome back to Balanced Literacy. Today, we're going to be working with the same poem we read yesterday called My Puppy Makes Pizza. And yesterday, you all did an amazing job helping me solve some tricky words and some covered words by using the word parts. So you all did so well using this, some of the strategies that we should be using during reading every day. Now today, I thought that we could maybe practice listening out for some mistakes to really ask ourselves, does that make sense? Does it sound right? And does it look right? So I'm going to read the poem first myself. And if you hear me make any mistakes and read the incorrect word, or maybe the word doesn't look right to you, or it doesn't make sense, go ahead and put up a stop sign and I will stop my reading and we can talk about it to see why that word might look wrong or not sound right and not make sense. All right, we're going to get started. Here we go. My puppy makes pizza. My puppy made pizza. He, uh-oh, I already st said something wrong, didn't I? Yeah, let's take out our fingers and do a slow check. I said that my puppy made pizza. Let's do a slow check to see if this word looks right. A d. Uh oh, a k doesn't say d. So what is this word then? What is this word? You're right, friends. This word is makes. Let's reread it. My puppy makes pizza. That looks so much better, and it sounds correct. He bakes every day. In chef hat and apron, he's quite the gourmet. He'll ro roll out some dough and he'll give it a toss, then spread on a gracious topping of sauce. I said something wrong again. What word did I say wrong? Oh, I said gracious, didn't I? Let's take out our finger and do a slow check underneath this word also. That doesn't look right. Hmm. It also doesn't really sound right or make sense. So what can we do to figure out this tricky word then? Good idea. Let's break it into parts. Hmm. I wonder, does this word maybe, does the G say G or J in this word? Let's try both ways. Gen er us. Generous. Does that make sense? Then spread on a generous. No. Does it sound right? No. All right. I'm glad we're triple checking, but we need to now make sure that we're trying that letter a different way. So what's the other sound G can make? It can also sound like J, J. Let's try it again. Gen, er, us. Put it all together and what's the word? Generous, you're right. All right, let's reread. Then spread on a generous topping of sauce. He'll heap it with cheeses and mountains of met, but I made another mistake. Oh my goodness, friends. Thank you for catching all of my mistakes. Oh, it was this word, wasn't it? I said met, but you all know that this is a vowel team. And what sound does the E-A vowel team make? E, you're right. So let's try it again. Eat. Oh, and I also see that snap word in there, eat. So what word is this then? Meat. Let's double check and make sure it makes sense and sounds right. And mountains of meat. Awesome job, friends. But still, it's not something you'd probably eat. For though he makes pie with obvious flair. What? Pie sounds right there. For though he makes pie. That could be something that he makes. Oh, it doesn't make sense with this poem though, right? Now, what is the puppy making? Is he making pie or is he making something else? Yeah, he's making something else. So it doesn't make sense in this poem. Let's double check our, let's triple check our word. See, does it look right? Pie. No. Hmm. 
Let's break it into parts. Oh, what word is it? You're right, pizza, because that's what the puppy is making, pizza. For though, he makes pizza with obvious flair. It all ends up covered with slobber and our. All right, we're all finished, friends. What? Oh, I made another mistake, didn't I? I did. This last word you're telling me? Yeah, you're right. That word is not our. What word is that? You're right, hair. The word hour wouldn't make sense there. It doesn't sound right and it doesn't look right. Thank you so much for triple checking my reading. Friends, you have done a great job triple checking my reading, making sure it makes sense, it looks right, and it sounds right. And that is something really, really great readers do when someone else is reading and also, more importantly, when they're reading. You can ask those questions to yourself as you're reading also. All right, now that we solved some of my problems, do you think we can go back all together and read this poem together? All right, let's do it. My puppy makes pizza. My puppy makes pizza. He bakes every day. In chef hat and apron, he's quite the gourmet. He'll roll out some dough and he'll give it a toss then spread on a generous topping of sauce. He'll heap it with cheeses and mountains of meat, but still, it's not something you'd probably eat. For though he makes pizza with obvious flair, it all ends up covered with slobber and hair. Thank you so much for reading that with me. Now friends, today as you're reading and every day as you're reading, please make sure that you're trying to triple check your reading. You're asking yourself, does it make sense? Does it sound right? And does it look right? And really trying those strategies that Mrs. Summer has been teaching us this whole time. All right, I know you can do it because you just did it with me. So go out there and maybe try it in your reading today. All right, I hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for reading.